agents. Uh, AI. But AI. 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 Since the majority of videos on a YouTube about AI, either too technical or too basic, I decided to record this one for all of our subscribers who either have just a little bit or no technical background at all. In this video, I will explain what AI, AI workflows and AI agents are, but don't worry. I will take it step by step and explain it in a simple words and will utilize our educational strategy we use in our bootcamp, starting with the things that you are already familiar with, just like ChatGPT, Grok, or cloud apps. Then we're gonna move forward to AI workflows and finally to the most popular hype words these days, such as AI agents. And I promise, those intimidating words such as RAG, React, or agents are going to become much simpler once we break them down using real life examples. But before we get started, let me quickly remind you who we are and then we will kick it off. My name is Sergey Kromchenko. I'm a software QA engineer, lead manager, and a senior engineering manager manager of SDAT in the past, but these days I'm helping people like you to become a QA engineer from scratch or to improve your existing skills. Now let's get started. Level 1. Large Language Models or LLMs. Every single app you have played with in terms of AI, such as ChatGPT, Google's Gemini, Claude or Tesla's or Elon Musk's Grok. Those are just applications built on the top of LLMs. And LLMs are simply brains for every single AI app. Let me explain that in a simple words. Imagine using Google. You type something. Google looks it up. You get an answer. So that's pretty much how nowadays internet works, right? In a simple words. Now let's think about LLMs. You give a prompt or same input, you pretty much type something. Then it uses what it learned and it will get you the response. Just like in a Google, but instead of the Google's server, we have LLMs or large language model, which uses a lot of data behind it that it was, it was trained on. So far pretty straightforward, right? Input, LLM and your response. Easy peasy. But here's something to keep in mind. Every single LLM or large language model was trained, even though it was trained on a lot of data, it doesn't know your preferences, it doesn't know much information about you. It cannot access your files, your order history, or real-time info, unless you specifically connect it to it. And most importantly, LLMs are passive, which means they're simply sitting there and waiting for you to input some data, to ask them questions. They don't go and do things on their own. And that's why we need workflows. Now, let's imagine a familiar situation. You are hungry and you're telling your AI or ChatGPT, next time I'm going to be talking about food. Offer me something based on my previous order history from Uber Eats. And it will definitely fail because it has no idea what Uber Eats are in terms of your orders because you did not give access to Uber Eats. But if you will build a workflow, then you could give access to ChatGPT or the other LLM app so it could access your orders previously, take a look at them and then give you a recommendation based on your previous orders. And you could even specify such as tabs as check past orders, pick something with a 5 plus star rating, send a suggestion. And that works until you say this, can you recommend something new? And then it will fail. Why? Because the path you programmed doesn't include look for new options. Workflows are just like recipes. They only work the way they were written. And in technical terms, it's called control logic. Now, let's say you expand it a little bit. You add Yelp reviews, Google Maps, and make it read the recommendation out loud. Great! Based on your past preferences, I found a five-star vegan sushi place nearby. Want directions? Still, just the workflow. Still, not really thinking, but doing step by step what you told it to do. Quick myth or technical term breaker. You've heard about term RAG, which is Retrieval Augmented Generation. Don't worry, it's just a fancy way of saying look something up before answering, just the way we do with the workflows. That's it. 
It's just one of the tools inside of the workflow. And here is actually the main problem of workflows. If the output isn't right, if the recommendation doesn't sound tasty, you, the human, will have to go back, tweak the setup and run it again. You're still doing thinking. You're still the one in control. And that's where AI agents come in. Let's stay with the same example. Right now, you're the one making decisions. What tools to connect, what steps to follow, when to make changes. But what if we replace you, a human decision maker, with actual AI itself? Then that's the time when workflow, fancy workflow, becomes even fancier AI agent. And an agent can do three things that workflow can not. Number one, reason or reasoning. It doesn't simply check the past orders. It thinks, oh, it's actually cold outside today. Maybe he wants something warm. Or, oh, he did order sushi 20 times within the last 10 days. Probably we should offer him something else. It reasons through context, just like you would. Number two, act. Now AI says, let me check if there are any restaurants nearby. Then it will also check if they're actually open now. And finally, you will probably read some reviews before making decision. And it does that all on its own, without you giving exact step-by-step -step instruction, just like you did with the workflow. It figured it out on its own. Let's say the agent suggests a restaurant, but then realizes the reviews are meh. Maybe the curry was too spicy. It doesn't send you a recommendation and simply call it a day. What it does, it goes back, finds a better option, and only then sends you final and improved result. That's called iteration. And it can actually do something cooler. It can critique its own answer with another AI model before even sending it to you. That's what makes it different from regular automation or workflow. It can actually think. Second nerdy word of the day, react. You might have heard this word, but probably got scared because it's something related to AI that you haven't heard of. But let's take it apart. It's very simple. RE stands for reason and ACT stands for acting, just like the second difference with the workflow. And that's why REACT is one of the world's most popular frameworks for building AI agents. And that's what pretty much it does, right? Aside of iterating. By the way, I've been mentoring people for eight years, and if you're interested to learn how to build AI workflow or AI agent, or how to become a software QA engineer completely from scratch, you can follow the links right below this video. Let's continue. Let's take a look at the real life examples. And we have a lot of different ones, but I'm going to pick one of the most useful ones for our community, detecting wildfires. I'm going to click right here. And by the way, we're using landing AI website. And I'm going to click on one of the pictures to see how exactly it will detect the wildfire. Because we cannot have people all over the world constantly monitoring all of the forest cameras simultaneously, but we can have AI. And you can clearly see it right here that there is a fire. As the human, you can see that. But AI can also see that. You can even specify the threshold of how confident it should be. If we minimize the threshold, it will specify more, it will find more fires or more things that look like fire. If we increase it, then it will be more challenging, let's say it that way. It will be more sure before it say, hey, there is a wildfire. So if you, if you go all the way to 100%, it will say that there is none, but if you at least get it to you 85 or 90, you will still show you, hey, that there is a fire. And the government or any companies that run this AI can simply specify this threshold. Now, quick recap. Level one, LLMs. It's just like human brains. You ask it a question, it gets you an answer. Just like the thing that we have right here. Level two, AI workflows. You design a process and AI follows it step by step. And level three, AI agents. You give it a goal and AI will figure out how to get there on its own.
If this video helped you to make sense out of AI, AI workflows and AI agents, and now you're thinking possibly to build one, leave a comment right below this video and let me know what would you like me to show you how to build on the next video. Either send a message, create AI workflows or create AI agent. And I will do it on the next video. Now, thank you for watching, get some workout, get some rest, drink a lot of water, and I'll see you next time.